Hello everyone and welcome back to this channel. Today I want to share with you a very useful tip in order to find citations of scientific papers. So I hope that most of you use LaTeX when writing your papers because it's probably the most efficient and elegant system in order to do that. But when you use LaTeX, you need to write citation using BibTeX. However, finding citation in BibTeX format may not be as easy. One option, of course, is going through the publisher's website. So, for example, you may go on IEEE Explore or ACM Digital Library. However, first off, those websites only contain those papers published with those specific publishers. So, if you want a different paper published with a different publisher, then you need to go on the website of that publisher. Additionally, sometimes the format of the citation is not exactly ideal. Let me show you an example of this. Here we're looking at a paper that we published a few years ago on ACM Transaction and Sensor Network, and this is the ACM Digital Library. So what you can do is to click on this little icon here and go on Export Citation. This will go automatically in BibTeX format. And as you can see, there are some information here that is not really required. For example, there is the address of ACM, also there is the DOI not required, there's the URL, and there's also the entire abstract of the paper, which is definitely something you don't need to include. I'm sure most of you are familiar with Google Scholar in order to find scientific papers, but there's a specific functionality of Google Scholar that is not as well known. I found this one out when I was writing my PhD thesis now several years ago, but I still see that not many people actually know about this functionality, which I think is extremely useful. Let me show you what is this functionality I'm referring to. So first, you need to click on this little icon on the top left corner and go on settings. Of course, in order to do this, you need to be logged in with your Google account. Then here at the bottom, there is Bibliography Manager. And generally, the default option is don't show any citation import link. So you need to change that to show links to import citation into, and you can pick different formats. And I suggest you, of course, to pick BibDeck in this video. Then you save. Now that this functionality is activated, let me show you how it works. So we can type here the title of a paper. So for example, the paper that I've shown you before, we click on search, Google Scholar finds the paper, but now here at the bottom, you can see import into BibTeX. So you can click there and Google Scholar will return you the BibTeX citation for that paper without any extra information such as DOI and abstract that you don't need, but only the information that you actually need. I have noticed sometimes that, especially with conferences, these citations may not be perfectly consistent, meaning that for some conferences, for example, the year is repeated twice, some conference titles are abbreviated and some are not. So you may still need to look at it to make sure that it's correct and exactly in the same format that you want for all your citations. But in general, it's a very efficient way of finding citations of papers with a correct BibLet format with papers that have been published with any publisher. I really hope that you found this content useful and I'll see you in the next video.